It's that time of the year. Grass is starting to get green. Everything's starting to grow. Nick Walters is with Rainbow Lawn Care here in the Twin Cities. He says a lot of people might be dealing with some trouble spots in their lawn from snow mold and spots from their dogs. When it comes to snow mold, Nick says lightly raking should do the trick. Dog spots, you need to rake a little more aggressively to get that old dead material actually out of there because it's not going to regrow. And then they'll want to put down a little bit of topsoil and, and some seed. When it comes to mowing your yard, Nick says it's important not to go too short right away. If you chop off too much of that plant material right at the beginning of the year, um, you're losing a lot of that leaf tissue that's actually doing photosynthesis and creating energy for the, the grass. And watering your yard, it's okay to wait a little while on that, according to Nick. You don't want to start watering too early in the year and get the, the lawn dependent on water. You kind of want to well, you want the roots to be looking for water at this point of the year. So I wouldn't be in a huge rush to get your irrigation system charged up or, or get the sprinklers out. If you haven't started any work on your yard yet, it's a good time to make sure all your equipment is good to go. Nick says a lot of people forget to keep that lawnmower blade sharp. That's something that your local hardware store can help you with, he says. Brian Pyatt, Care 11 News. Yeah, you'd never really think of sharpening your lawnmower blade. But you got you it. You have to. I mean, to, it gets yeah. old and rusty, just like our knives in our kitchen. There's always right? that one person in the neighborhood with the perfect lawn. Yeah, now I know. You know. Now you know why. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have a question about your yard or garden, hey, visit the Grow With Care Facebook page or text the word grow, and we'll send you back a link. And also watch tonight at 6 where we celebrate Arbor Day with our favorite trees for small spaces. At least you're getting on the 